YouTube, this is Pop. Today I want to make a short review about uh, the cloned Samsung S3 and uh, they are being cloned also here in the Netherlands and um, yeah you can buy them everywhere these days and uh, you can even buy them with uh, Samsung written on them you know you can get iPhone 5s you know I just made the iPhone 6 from this thing because the screen is really nice and big you know but in fact it's the S3 you know um, it looks exactly as the um, as the old 3GS don't you think I mean like this was a stolen concept from Apple you know if you, if you take a good look at it I'm just missing out this little uh, bottom here it's here at the side I, I can never get used to it here I think this is a real silly place of Samsung to put the bottom I think that the guys that cloned this thing could have put the bottom up here you know but then probably Apple would sue them but never mind nevertheless this is a nice phone a dual core phone but I will also have to show you how to fix this phone and I must tell you that you should not 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 you guys should not try to install custom firmware on this thing and why would you this thing is running Android 4.11 it has a dual core processor and it has the Play Store you can get all apps that you need for the coming years out of this phone and this phone costs only 125 quid yeah here in Holland they sell it for 165 or 145 euros you know and I think that's a lot of money for a phone like this but then again um, if you look at the Samsung phone that has the same almost as, yeah the same look and feels you can use a case everything you can use from the Samsung S3 for this phone because it's just the same as the Samsung S3 you know but it has no no names on it and we even uh, put a, a nice special Apple this is this is the the uh, and iOS logo and iOS Android and iOS the and iOS logo that's how I call this phone as well as you can see this phone can also run uh, without a sim card we're connected with Tele 48 Tele 48 that's my FOIP uh, phone that I have in here and it's it's amazing phone yo I'm even running FX Guru on it you know FX Guru is also rendering um, the process really nice we have uh, of course uh, our music players up here uh, we have you know we have all sorts of oops it's hard to show this is uh, this is about the screen if you pull it down up here you can oops what can I do there <laughs> oh yeah up here you have all the connections this is like the the old style still eh? because yeah this is still uh, 404 but this is not old eh? This is this is not oh it's Android 4 man. I mean like you know and if you wanted to root this baby with Frama root, I will tell you there is no exploit in here to be um, to be hacked. So in fact you cannot um, root this phone. There are ways, but I will not tell you these ways because you will break your phone if you don't know what you're doing. And I will not advise anyone, anyone to go and try to install custom firmware on this but if you did if you thought oh it's just for the for the 9300 um, I'm gonna install Jelly Bean 4.3 you know it will accept it will start installing but then the phone will reboot and you know your phone will be bricked because you will never be able to start up your phone anymore and there is not so much support about this phone on the internet but I did a great job and find found uh, the site where you can get uh, the original firmware for this F9300 and uh, the firmware will help you because you also have a flash tool and you have the original 9300 original stock firmware um, and uh, that will give you uh, 404 Android 404 uh, instead of 4. Point. This thing is already updated so you know don't try to install a higher version of Android on it there's no need this thing is already running just fine and as you can see you know you can make a beautiful iPhone from the thing just just go and play with with Aspire launcher or, or check all the other launchers you know there are so many things you can do with your Android phone you don't have to install other ROMs on it you know not necessarily 
you know I mean like if you do a thing like that you must know what you're doing you know with my Samsung S2 I know what I'm doing because there are a thousand developers up there and there are thousands ROMs up there and I will always be able to fix it again because it's Samsung you know but this is clone so you know nobody up there taking responsibility to say yo hey that thing must have firmware they don't care they want you to try it if, if you know the, if you go to the, to their side they probably say yeah you must try that that firmware and when you try it your whole phone is brick so what will what will you have to do if you cannot fix it you know buy a new phone so that is sad so that's why i tried to find the firmware of the f9300 well let me tell you i did not break this device i'm not gonna lie for you guys that i fixed it and bricked it no this thing is running 4.11 you know and uh there's no higher version of android that you can install in this and if you will brick it because you tried then you will have to fix it with a flying f9300 original stock firmware and you will need a flash tool to do it and you will have to probably put it in um, in the restore mode and that goes the same way as with the Samsung so you can get into uh, download mode I think you will have to put it in download mode I'm not sure about that you should try that out but here's the firmware here's the flash tool I mean like uh, the flash tool does not run on Windows 8 that is a pity but it does run on Windows 7 and Windows XP because I tried it so you must check it out and um, yeah, I hope this helped a little bit. If you buy this phone, you can buy this phone for 125 quid. You know, here in Holland, they're selling it for 145, you know, and people still think it's cheap because, you know, Samsung phones like this cost like 500 euros or 400 euros, you know, so it's really stupid. People, you know, they just want it and they just get it and uh, they never realize sometimes that these phones, you know, there's no such thing as guarantee, warranty, uh, you cannot get your money back and uh, if it breaks well then probably you can bring it to the phone store and they can fix it because the hardware in here is like almost the same as the Samsung so you know they will be able to fix it only um, yeah the firmware is not the same and you need this uh, f9300 original stock firmware that you can see here at the back that i have here for you guys and you must install that one and it will help you um about the flying f9300 stock firmware if we open it then uh we get a folder as you can see and in the folder you see several things so um at this point i'm not even sure how to uh how to install this but i just think i just think that you should not open the folder yeah and just go into the restore mode if you can still get in the restore mode yeah with the power button down or up you know uh, you hold the volume button down and then the home button and then the power button you press them the three of them you first turn off the device of course and then uh you press the three of them you know first the volume button the home and then the power you keep holding them until it gets in, into a, a restore mode and then you know the flash tool will see the device and then you can select um, the firmware you know and then you know flash this phone and bring it back to life so i really hope that this video helped you guys if you want to buy this phone uh, i would say buy it but please don't try to root it don't try to put custom firmware on it you know just create a beautiful iphone 5 for free you know thanks to android the power of android or just you know do whatever you want to do with it i mean like you know not everybody should go and create uh um uh, android phones or iphones from their android phones because why would you do a thing like that right because you're not an uh, iphone user you're using android so you don't need that screen but i myself and many iphone users behind me that are also taking peeks at android they're like hey to understand the system better it's really nice that we have aspire launcher you know so we can like do the things the same way as we did in iphone and we have a beautiful good looking sexy screen that other android users don't have if they don't use this uh, this launcher and uh, yeah one more time people this is a good phone the battery life is also 
pretty good it's not bad you know and you also get the extra battery when you buy this thing so you have two batteries so it's all good you know for 125 quid you can't lose uh, you can't lose uh, a big uh, amount of money uh, for this phone because this phone is good this is a good phone you can buy it the f uh, 9300 for sale uh, on eBay and you can also find it at alibaba.com anyway peeps this was my video I hope you like this video uh, if you did please rate a thumbs up if you still need some help with the firmware you know I don't have a brick device so I was not forced uh, to use this firmware but I thought well let me download it for you guys at least so you uh, with your brick devices can get your device back running and up Although remember you will not have the version that it came with you will have the 404 uh, Instead of the 411. Thank you for watching again and till my next video. Bye